to Mama Joan house where it gets hot and when I said hot I made it hot like a scotch bunny. Peppa! Today guys I am going to make for you a seafood boil. A simple little seafood boil the way how I make it and I hope you guys try it okay so I'm gonna get into the ingredients and show you guys what I use to make my seafood while and when it done you're gonna wanna slap your papa okay guys a lot of you guys request the seafood boil so mama joan gonna make the seafood boil and show you how she do it because of my family you know i love my family and my family love seafood boil which is my son my daughter and all of you guys out there is a part of my family so i'm making this for you guys so before we get into that doing you know what we need from you maybe you don't forgive me 20 thousand likes for this video and we need enough to like it and subscribe with it and hit that we call that thing again that post notification bell won't have that i don't know some of you want to do 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 my seafood boil is not a typical seafood boil. It's a different kind of seafood boils where when I make my sweet food boils, the way it's so nice. Ladies, I want enough to try it because you never know when I might try it and go to husband and then can't leave home again. No matter what, you understand me? Because when I tell you say, the seafood wicked, I mean say, it wicked. Anyway guys, ladies and man, because man can't cook for woman too. Me them not forget to no pot and come cook with me. Okay guys? So guys, we are going to go into the ingredients and I go show you what I use to make my special seafood boil. Okay guys? Guys, I'm going to go into the big ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need some corn, some fresh corn. Listen. You see the corn, how them look? Them look like them not sweet. But me, I tell you, them is very sweet. Them mango look white. You understand me? But them sweet. Okay? So this is the corn. And then, oh my gosh, look at this. This one now, I have some lobster tail and some shrimp. The shrimp, I de veined them already. It's have the skin on it, but I de veined it from the back with a toothpick. Okay, guys? So that's the shrimp and the lobster and I have some snow crab here some snow crab legs What's that? and I put some mussel here's some mussel I put some fresh mussel in it too and I have um, some scallops because I don't have this the crab leg itself I'm substituting with some scallops so you can throw some you guys can throw some scallop inside here too I have a and this is my potato small potato instead of the yellow a lot of people like to use the red potato I just used to like to use a small potato it already washed and I don't have to cut nothing very easy then in here I have six clover garlic and I have four stick of butter, but I'm only gonna use two stick of butter from it. Okay, okay, so guys, we finished with the basic food. Now we're getting into the seasoning. Now, you know, Mama Joan don't like use powder seasoning, but when you make a seafood boil, why she have to go use some of the powder seasoning because that make your finger licking good. And that make you wanna slap your papa. I'm not talking about slap your mama. I'm talking about slap your papa. So guys, now I'm gonna dive into the seasoning. So I have all my seasoning in here. So I'm gonna tell you all of the seasoning that's in here. So I have one tablespoon of paprika, smoked paprika. One tablespoon of smoked paprika. One tablespoon of seafood shrimp seasoning. One tablespoon of garlic all. Garlic plus. One teaspoon.
teaspoon a lemon pepper two teaspoon a parsley one tablespoon of adobe everybody calls it your name me call it adobe or adobe or whatever you want call it, but you don't know what I'm talking about okay see that you don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> and then this is where you really need you need your obey so this I have two tablespoons of obey okay and for my liquid I don't use water I use some tom yum that's what I use the broth so for the for the tom yum you can get that at Walmart and if you can't find the tom yum you can use the Campbell uh, seafood boil or you can use water but I rather use the sea use the seafood broth or the, the tom yum and guys you need one large onion one lemon and a scotch bonnet pepper or any pepper any spicy pepper but I use scotch bonnet pepper but you can use any kind of spicy pepper so I'm gonna cut up my onion to start and my pepper and then I'm gonna start to cook the make the seafood okay guys now I am ready to start to make your, your seafood boil okay I'm gonna start with some butter the pot is hot so it's gonna make a little like a fry knife but because the pot is hot so we are going to melt the stick of butter and then um here i missed one very crucial ingredient the you need one teaspoon of minced um ginger okay so i'm gonna throw that in here now the ginger the garlic and the onion that going first Okay guys, the first step, you're gonna put your ginger, your garlic, your onion, and your pepper. Which is, it could be, mine is scotch bunny pepper, your one could be one of those um, bird pepper, like whatever pepper you choose to use, okay? So you put that in. So we are gonna make this cook for a little bit, okay? Just for about two minutes or so, soften up the onion a bit, okay? So we're just softening up the onion a bit. Next step, we're gonna put in all of our spices that we had mixed together. So we're gonna put all of this in now. Okay. I'm gonna give this a stir. A stir, a stir, a stir. Wisa, wisa, wisa. Wisa, 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 wisa. Stir, 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 stir. <laughs> wow, look at this. Mm -mm. Smell good, you see? Mm. Mm -mm. Wow, look at that. You see that now? Then now, with all of this now, then I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna put my broth in. Okay? So this is my liquid. I put it in and I'm gonna let it boil for about, I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna let it boil for about 10 minutes. Give it a 10 minutes boil. I'm gonna use one and a half, one and a half um, box. Okay, so for the next step, this is what it looks like after you have it boiling for 10 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna put in my potato. So I'm gonna put my potato in and I'm gonna let the potato boil 20 minutes too. Okay, so 20 minutes should cook these little small potatoes so put the potato in and I'm gonna put my corn in also with my potato so I'm gonna give this 20 minutes to boil okay guys and then I'll be right back at you. So for 
our next step now, you're gonna get a fork and you're gonna test the potato. See, your spoon go, fork go right into the potato. That means you set the potato ready. So now guys, I'm gonna put my mussels in. Put my mussels in. My mussels in. Muscles in, then I'm gonna put my shrimp in. My shrimp is on some ice now because it was out the fridge, so they're sitting on some ice. So I gotta use a spoon to put them in the pot. Because of the ice with the water, I don't want no more water in the liquid. Because I gotta use the liquid to make a sauce. And that's why my seafood make you want to slap your papa. <laughs> okay, we we'll put the shrimp in. Now we're gonna put the lobster tail in. So the lobster tail and the shrimp. Shrimp will give a 10 minutes, the lobster tail will give another 10 minutes. So the shrimp and the lobster tail in there. And you give it, you give them a 10 minutes. And you don't want to overcook the, you don't want to overcook the shrimp and you don't want to overcook the lobster. Okay? So you just give them a, a 10 minutes and a good stir, 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 stir. Okay? So now, look at it. Look how beautiful it is. Nice red juice. And you can smell the fragrance that's coming from it. Shrimp is nice and pink. My mussels is ready. So I am going to add the scallops. So this is just a, like a special thing for me, you know. Then I had some scallops in there. Add the scallops and I'm gonna add the the, the snow crab legs and guys my broth look a little bit um not so enough like I need some more in there so I'm gonna add a little bit more of my broth in there just to make sure I have a little bit more juice okay so I told you to use one and a half box of tom yam. I only use one and three quarters, so I'm pouring in the other quarter. Okay. Yes. So it's actually one and a half now. So I'm gonna let this cook for another 10 minutes and then this would be finished and then I'm gonna move on to the next step because I have to make a sauce to go with it from the juice. Now this is what it look like. It's coming up to the final process now so I'm gonna put in you now. This is one lemon cut in, in slices. I'm gonna put that in. This is just, just adding a little flavor. The lemon is just there to add in a little flavor and to get rid of that um, um that you know like like a rawish kind of a scent from the seafood so that's what the lemon is there for so now just stir it in there a little bit and then i'm gonna turn off the stove take this from this pot and then the broth that's in the pot i'm gonna use it to make a sauce as we come to the end of the seafood boil now i am making the sauce so this is the sauce from the broth so it's a sauce. So what I do different with this now, I had another stick of butter to that. And then I had one more teaspoon of um, minced garlic. One teaspoon of minced garlic to this sauce. So this now, when I'm done with this, just make this boil down a little bit. Melt the butter, make it boil down. And I'm telling you, this sauce is the is the seafood special so this is mama joe seafood special where it's gonna make you wanna slap you a papa okay okay this is one of the 
thing that I forgot about guys after you do your butter and this is for fresh leaf uh, basil this is the chef you can use regular basil or you can use the Greek basil this is Greek basil that I grow in my garden okay so I just put these in there and that's it when I don't boil this now bring it to a boil give it about five minutes you know make the sauce come together and then I just throw that over the, the seafood and that is my seafood boil okay okay guys now I come to the end of my seafood boil and we want to try it you understand me because it is so delicious I wish if you guys could smell it you understand but by just by looking on it you guys can see how beautiful it is it's prettier than money you understand me so guys I want to not to try and make it comment below and make me know if you don't try it and if you don't like it and I hope you guys do because I made this for you guys okay so guys like it subscribe it and hit that post notification belly belly thing they wanna have the film okay and we want to give me 20,000 likes on this year seafood yeah, you know because you know what we make it feel who oh no my family okay guys so I am out till next time alright